Hi, my name is Jodice Franklin and I'm going to be doing my inserting and discontinuing peripheral IV skills video today. I'm going to enter my patient's room by knocking on the door and then I'll enter, I'll close the door or the curtain to ensure my patient's privacy. I'll make sure that I collected and organized all my supplies on a clean, clutter-free uh, bedside stand or table, which I have done so already. I have all my supplies in front of me. I'm going to start by doing my hand hygiene and then putting on clean gloves. Okay, I waited about 20 seconds, we'll say, for my hand sanitizer to dry before putting on my clean gloves. I will also make a comment that my Tegaderm right here, I already have it initialed, dated, and the time as well on it, as well as the gauge of the needle, which we are working with a 22 gauge needle, one inch. Um, here it is. Okay. After that, um, my patient is a 75 year old male who's here for fluid rehydration and like I said he's going to be getting a 22 gauge one inch needle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prime our extension tubing so I'm going to uncap. It's already unclamped. I'll discard. I'll also grab the saline. There we go. I will it and then I will make sure to remove any air bubbles by pushing on the saline and having at least one to two, one drop, two drop comes out and then I will clamp and put aside on my clean sterile table for later. Okay, after that I am going to go ahead and go to my site and I'm going to apply my tourniquet, which I have here. I already have my tape handy as well, just so you can see. I'm going to lift up on this for a second so I can place this correctly. I'm going to place the tourniquet four to six inches away from my insertion site. how I'll check that I'm four to six inches away from my insertion site is I will take four fingers and right here will be where I apply or insert the peripheral IV. Okay, after that I am going to uh, make sure that I um, can feel the distal pulse so that I know that this tourniquet is not too tight, which I feel the distal pulse. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Clean my insertion site. There's an alcohol prep pad. I'll start from the center with small circles and get bigger as I go outwards. So here we go. Small circles and working bigger and going outwards. I'll discard of this. There we go. I'll make sure not to fan or blow on where I just alcohol prepped. I'll wait for it to dry as well before I begin. <clears throat> okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my needle. I'm going to uncap it and I'll dispose of this cap. I'm then going to make sure that my bevel is up, which it is the slant part of the needle. I'll make sure it's facing up towards the sky. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure that I hold my thumb right here to make sure that my vein does not roll or anything. And then as I do that, I'll make sure that I'm uh, one to two inches below the insertion site with that thumb holding that vein so it doesn't roll. I'll go in at a 30 degree angle <clears throat> and I'm going to observe flashback. So here's the 30 degree angle. I'm observing flashback, so I'm going to advance my needle. 
after that, I am going to press my quick release white button here so that my needle retracts and I'm just left with the catheter. After that, I'm going to discard of this in the sharps container. And then after that, after that, I'm still securing my sight and I'm going to with my dominant hand, with my non-dominant hand, I'm still securing the site, and with my dominant hand, I'm going to release that tourniquet with my quick release. After that, I'm going to get my saline, and I'm going to turn that onto my catheter. I'm going to unclamp my saline, and I'm going to pull back to see for blood drawback, flashback, and I see blood return. So now I'm going to slowly push the IV into the tubing that goes through the catheter. Slowly pushing. Still securing the IV. After that, I'm going to remove saline, dispose, and then clamp my IV tubing. I'm not, uh, ex not removing my extension tubing in case I have to push more fluids later on. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, um, while I'm Now what I'm going to do is while I'm stabilizing the IV here, I'm going to apply that sterile dressing. So really quick, I'm going to just remove that and then I'll stabilize the IV and I'll apply it. I'll make sure not to get uh, apply it over that IV extension tubing. Press down and around. Okay. Alright, and I already mentioned that I dated this, initialed it, timed it, and put the gauge number on this, as well as the inches. So I'll set that aside while I remove this white outer barrier and press down on the Tegaderm to secure it fully. So go around. done that. So now what I'm going to do is I'll discard that and I'll take my four pieces of tape and I'll secure each corner. Securing each corner. Once that's done, I'll take what I filled out that was on the Tegaderm and I will leave it right here on top of that so people know when this was placed, who placed it, what time it was placed, and what size the catheter needle is. Okay, after that I'm going to um, discard of everything. Um, if I have any sharps, I'll discard that in the sharps container. Shrink. Discard this. Thank you so much, Mr. Jones. Move this. Move that. After that, I'll remove my gloves. I'll perform hand hygiene. And then I'll leave my patient's room and I'll go document. All right, it has now been later, it's so odd what time now. Um, I'm going to arrive back at my patient's room, I'm going to knock on the door, I'll enter the room, close the door, close the curtain to provide patient privacy again. I have my supplies, I have my tape right here as needed. 
Um, I'm going to perform hand hygiene again and apply clean gloves. Okay, we'll act like I waited the 20 seconds for this to dry. And apply clean gloves. <laughs> and then I'm going to come over to my insertion site. And I'm going to first remove this patient's tape from my, uh, their arm slowly. While also holding their skin. So I removed those slowly and gently, um, and then while using one hand to stabilize the IV, I'm going to remove this outer tachyderm. Okay, so I'm stabilizing the IV, I'm going to start from the outer corners and work my way towards where my fingers are. Still stabilize that IV, moving it there, and I'm discarding of all this tape. Once I've done that, I'm going to place a clean sterile gauze over the IV, um, and then I'm going to just um, above the insertion site, I'm going to stabilize while slowly removing the catheter steadily. Okay, I'm going to take note of it. Um, integrity as well, the length, I'm going to see if there's any blood on it or if it's intact, things like that, which it is, so I'll make a note of that and I'll discard of this in a sharps container. It is intact and it is still that one inch that we have documented earlier. So that's good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this gauze and discard it. And then I'm going to get a clean piece of gauze. I'm going to place it over where we just discontinued that IV. And I'm going to tape each corner. Once I've done that, I'll discard of any uh, leftover supplies that I have. If I had any sharps, I would discard those in the sharps container. After that, I'll remove gloves, perform hand hygiene, and I would leave the patient's room and go document my procedure. Alrighty, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.